Welcome back everyone. Just a little bit of light rain lingering here between Grimes and Ankeny uh, Johnston. You might be getting clipped by a little bit of that light rain, but this is fizzling out. Uh, most of that light green you see here, uh, that's just some ground clutter being picked up by the radar. So the only rain is right here where you see that darker green. Uh, again, that is weakening as we speak, so we might get a little bit of light rain over the next half hour, but I would expect most of Polk County to dry out here pretty shortly. You can see the sunshine off to the uh, east this morning here from downtown Des Moines, 76 degrees with partly cloudy skies. A very warm and muggy start to your day and get used to that feeling because that's how it's going to stay all week long. Uh, likely dry here in Des Moines from start to finish. We should get to 90 degrees this afternoon and this is going to be one of the cooler days of the week. So just imagine how it's going to feel by the end of the week. All right, here's the remnants of Barry, just a, a tropical depression at this point uh, centered over Arkansas. A lot of rain with this system. This is going to move north and then take a jog to the east. So that's one system we're monitoring. The second one is this cold front in the Dakotas that's going to approach northern Iowa. Iowa tonight through tomorrow. So as those collide uh, over Iowa, we'll have some spotty showers and storms here and there across Iowa today, tomorrow, and even on Wednesday morning, but not widespread rain expected, especially here in central Iowa. We're kind of in the, the dry zone while others around us get the rain that we could use. So through this afternoon, clouds, especially in southeast Iowa, maybe uh, partly cloudy, we'll call it uh, probably more sunshine than cloud cover here in central Iowa today. So a good pool day ahead of us overnight tonight through tomorrow morning, a handful of storms possible in northwest Iowa. Those should be pretty isolated, so most of us avoid that. And then tomorrow afternoon, there's at least a chance for a few storms in central Iowa. 20% chance for Des Moines, and that may be our best chance at rain this entire week. So if your lawn needs it, like uh, I know mine does, uh, cross your fingers that that happens on Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening. Uh, late this week, any chance for rain is going to become pretty much zero as a front pushes back north. The jet stream moves north into Canada, and we become dry, hot, and humid here across not only Iowa, but much of the central U.S. is looking at the hottest weather of the year so far. Here's how it looks in Des Moines. 91 today, not too bad tomorrow. 89 with more clouds than the rest of this week. But Wednesday through Thursday and Friday, it gets really hot. Mid 90s on Wednesday, upper 90s with your actual highs. 98 on Thursday and Friday. And even this weekend looks pretty darn warm with more mid 90s.